Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Spring NG2C, and I'm back. Another collection video, basically. So I'm gonna show y'all all my guns again, little upgrades I made to them, you know, and so forth. So before we get started, we're gonna do a safety check on all the weapons. Start with this magazine. Lock it to the rear. Clear. Magazine. Lock it to the rear. Clear. Magazine. Lock it to the rear. Clear. Magazine. Lock it to the rear. It's clear. Last one. Magazine. Let y'all see it. Lock the bolt back. That is clear. Okay. So, yeah, here we go. Move this down here. Turn all these magazines. Okay, so we can start with the 45XD. So, I haven't done much to it. Only thing I did was color fill it. Let y'all see. It's color filled. Yeah. Put a blue color fill on it. You know? Then I put this grip here, so I do have a new grip on it, rubber grip on it, nothing major. Used to slide, very nice, let y'all see, yep, it's my 45 XD, and that's what I've done to it, just put a grip on it, that's Pretty much all I really needed on this one. Okay, we have the XD9. I haven't done anything to this one yet. Only thing I did was color fill it with the blue as well. Let y'all see. It's a little, I know it's kind of bright, but. Hope it focus on it. It's my XD9. Just did a color feel to it. Took it to the range and it, like it, it really did its thing. The XD9, I was, I was kind of amazed with it. Like the XD9 did really well. The uh. XD45 ACP, this also performed well. Took it to the range, I think I put 200 rounds through this one by itself. The XD45, yeah, I put 200 through it. So, yeah, did pretty good. But the only thing with this was, I had a bunch of steel ammo, maybe like a hundred rounds of it was steel, and it did do quite a number on it, so yeah, wasn't too bad. Then we got the Glock, my baby Glock. So this is my Glock 26. I know you guys seen this a lot. 
on the channel but here it is again and what i've done to it was i painted it gold the paint held up pretty well the barrel as well yep i painted it gold and it actually stood up and it held up when i fired it changed the black plate I'm gonna let y'all see that put a new back plate on there yeah, that's it. I painted the whole thing. Well, the most of the upper, the slide and stuff go. Looks pretty good. I got the 31 round magazine for it. With the cross on it. That looks good. Looks real good. Watch y'all see. I also put a rubber grip on that one as well. So yeah, that's the Glock 26. And I do got a bunch of other magazines. So like for the Glock 26, I have, let's see, Glock 26, Glock 26, 26. We got a 15, 110, 210, a 17, 310, and the 31 rounder. That's all for the Glock 26. For the XD45, we have a seven round, and we have three six round magazines. So the seven round comes with the XD extension on there. Did you see it? And the, uh, well, just for one of my six rounds, I put the little pinky grip on them for that. So we got for the XD45. And for the XD9, we only got two magazines for the XD9. Couldn't really find a good deal on them for these. So I got the 16 rounder and the 13. So that's the extended and flush for the XD9. That's what you can get for that. Then we have my wife gun, Miss G2C Glock. She has the Glock 43. Yep, here it is. This is my wife's baby here. It's her pride and joy, Glock 43. She's pretty much scared to shoot everything else, so she took a liking to it, picked this one up, and just ran with it ever since. Yeah, so we got nice baby blue grip on there for did color it. And we also got the American flag on the back. We colored that as well, so we took it to the range. The paint held up. And, you know, yeah, performed great. I mean, this gun here never sees more than, like, uh, maybe 50 rounds in the city. So, yeah, it did pretty good. And for that, we got a six-round, another six-round. We got nine 11 and 10. All for the Glock 43. You got the 10 rounds, the Glock 43, regular six, flush, the six with the pinky extension. Then we have the ETS 11 round mag. Pretty good looking there. Then we got the ETS 9 round mag. So yeah, either one of these would be pretty good for you. Okay, we got 
Last but not least, down to my baby, my pride and joy. This is my Diamondback AI-15, chambered in 223-556. So what I did to this was my handguard, I did that gold. I got a laser, well, I got a flashlight on it now. So yeah, let y'all see that green flashlight, you know get real tactical then I got the back pop pop out pump it up do your thing and I also have these here flip up sights so I painted those gold as well did a good look on those flip up sights Yep, we got the overall the little color filler filling on it is blue. And we also got optic red and green. Yeah. Put a grip on there as well. We added this. So Yep, that's the AR. I think I'm done with it now. So now I'm going to start my AR pistol build. But that's about it for this here. That's all I was doing to this AR. I love it. Works pretty great. I got a 30 round ETS mag. And I got two more 30 rounds that I taped together. I got my factory 30 round and then the PMAG 30 round. So, tactical situations. And drop that, flip it, go back in with it. That works. And it don't take much to do that. I just took a little, like a roll of electrical tape, kind of taped them together. That way we get an even feed on both sides. So like it drops right in. Snug. And it works great. So like it holds, it holds up for me. Like when I go to the range. I have a lot of fun with this. This is just when I'm trying to, you know, check my reload speed and see how fast I can get another magazine in there. Yeah. I love it. So... Yeah, people, those are my guns for 2020. I'm looking to get a couple more. I think we're going to probably stop the collection at around 15 or 20. Then we'll be done. But yeah, y'all like, subscribe, and let me know what y'all think down below. And like I say, Spring G2C has been another one. I'll catch y'all later.